dual track deals have been around for a while, but they've become more in favor recently. Why is that? Well, there are several reasons. The first and most important reason is simply market volatility. It's unclear at any given moment when a sale process is launched whether that volatility will manifest itself in the debt market, the equity market, or both, notwithstanding the fact that we are living in a time of substantial liquidity in the capital markets. And so from a seller's point of view, it's very attractive to leave one's options open and be able to pursue whichever uh, path seems most likely to maximize value. It seems like a win-win situation for sellers. Is there a downside? There is. It's actually a more complicated judgment for sellers than it might seem for several reasons. Um, the first is simply uh, uh, complexity. Um, a, a dual track process is extremely demanding on a management team and it may be depending upon the quality of the team that it's not realistic. The second thing that sellers have to keep in mind is that this is not uh, a credible option for a company that is not a legitimate IPO candidate. There are some companies that are not. It's also not, from a seller point of view, a full exit. If you do an IPO, that doesn't mean you get all of your cash out of the business right away. You're going to be selling over a period of time. That may be attractive to some sellers if they think there's additional upside in the business that the market is not recognizing. It may be quite unattractive. Um, and finally, it creates complex incentive issues that sellers need to be attentive to. Seller advisors, particularly if there's a split between the underwriters and the sell side advisors in the private auction, may have different financial incentives that may affect the way they characterize value to the board. And the management team may also have different incentives, even uh, the incentive of whether or not they expect to be employed by the buyer, which may vary depending upon whether you're looking at an IPO or a private sale.